Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Injustice 2 Green Arrow. I'm very excited to take a look at this guy. Uh, I love Green Arrow. I think he's a, a great superhero and I've read a couple comics about him and I would like to read more, obviously. Uh, anyways, here is his accessories. He comes with a card. Uh, so you get like that 3D render. I don't know. I mean, I'm... I'd rather art from the game, personally, but it's fine. Uh, there is the read up. I'm gonna read it. Pause it now. Talks about Injustice 2. So, yeah, I did not play the game through and through, but I did play it a little bit. Um, anyways, uh, here's all of his arrows. Uh, there you go. They look good, I guess. You know, get the feathers, and then you get the tips. And then this pack does come off. And the pack looks cool. I like all the details in it. You can see like all the fat, you know, the materials made out of some, you know, lines and everything. Although I do wish it was maybe sculpted. That, you know, the arrows were sculpted. Because it's pointless to have them grouped together, right? Like, I don't know, that's kind of dumb. But, yeah, I don't know. I would have just had it sculpted and you could put more, you could put more, you know. But, um, yeah, whatever. And that just pegs right into his back. And it stays in pretty nicely. You can rotate it. Uh, and then he comes with his arrow, obviously. Or arrow. Bow. Um, I do wish maybe it was a little bigger, but I looked at pictures from the game, and it's actually not that big anyways. But, yeah, you can see the wraps right there. Yeah, and I, I do wish we got, like, a second one with, like, an arrow you know, attached to it, um, because we, we have gotten something like that before from other companies, so yeah, they, yeah, that's the one thing I would wish it was a little different, and he holds it pretty well too, so that's good, and then here is Green Arrow himself, this is my first Green Arrow figure from McFarland Toys, I did not pick up the TV show Stephen Amell Arrow figure, which was from like the very first like wave of figures um he's i think he's rather expensive now which is kind of crazy but yeah i like his goatee looks good uh he's got a little scuff on his nose i i opened him he didn't have it then a, mo a moment later he did i don't know what happened i didn't drop him or anything <laughs> I'm, i don't know maybe i just didn't notice uh but yeah the the you know the mask looks cool the hair looks really nice as well there. You can see, you know, the collar looks nice as well, like the, you know, the stitching in there. Nice Green Arrow logo right there. Yeah, very cool looking figure. I really do like him a lot. And let's take this out just for a moment to appreciate the detail there. Green Arrow butt. You can see the logo right there again. Yeah, really solid. I really do like it. Nice details. Gets like a couple of knives right there. Some pouches. I like his boots. Those look good. Good. Can't talk. But yeah. Solid. I really do like him. Um, top 10 of the year? I don't know. Maybe like between the 8, you know, the 10 and 8, 7 range, but. Nah, I really do like him, and he's very well articulated as well. You can get him to get in all sorts of crazy poses. He can't really hinge forward though because of this rubber piece, but yeah. I, I saw someone mention that the rubber parts won't last long, and that kind of concerns me, but like then I'm like, I don't know, like, will it last though? Like, I mean, are you sure? Like, how sure are you? I'm that not lasting. Uh, unfortunately, he does have the side eye, um, and I've looked in the pictures and everything, and he holds his uh, bow in his uh, left hand, but with his side eye, it makes sense to have it in his right, so that's kind of, yeah, I mean, it's just a little nitpick, but whatever. Uh, so there is Green Arrow. Uh, let's do a McFarland 
Injustice 2 comparison. So let's bring out the other two heroes we've gotten. So here's Dr. Fate. And then here is, <clears throat> here is the Flash. It's funny, every, every, most of the, you know, the Injustice figures seem to revolve around Flash, so it's very refreshing to get, you know, other characters. Hopefully we can get some more. I really like the uh, design of this game, all the costumes and everything. I was really hoping to get uh, Atrocitus, but we are already getting him with the uh, Blackest Night Wave. And then here is the DC Icons. Green Arrow figure. Very small, obviously. But yeah. I really like this guy. He comes with individual arrows, which is cool. And then here's my absolute favorite one. I've had this one since I was a kid. The DC Universe Classics. Uh, I forget what wave. I think it was wave 5. The Chemo wave. Or Camo, whatever his name was. Yeah, I love this figure. This figure is awesome. Uh, I lost the, the uh, bow, but I, I do have... I got the second Green Arrow that came out later. He's on my display with a bow, uh, and this one is not on display, so... Uh, I know he's my favorite, but he's not on display. It's because I have Arsenal, and he kind of looks the same, so I don't want, like, two of the same-looking figures on the same shelf, if it makes sense. Anyways, yeah, these guys look really cool. It's, it's cool to see the evolution of Green Arrow figures. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you did, do all the good stuff. Leave your thoughts and comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video which will be reverse flash so uh stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys in the next video peace thanks for watching